Now, the sun could be one of the answers to global warming, according to UN scientists. A major report published today recommends a trebling in the use of renewable energy like wind and solar power. Sky's Harriet Hadfield has been finding out if it could work here in Britain. With every panel that clicks into place, this rooftop is becoming a mini solar farm. And on a sunny day in Somerset, it will generate power that feeds straight into the national grid. The average installation on a private house takes just a couple of hours and costs around £6,000. But while owners can expect to make their money back within six years, feed-in tariffs, or the money paid for electricity generated, gets less every year. So the sums only work if installation costs continue to drop. It's a fantastic investment. Obviously, you know, you're talking a six, seven year return on that figure based on the feed-in tariff rates as they are now. It's always going to come down. The manufacturing side of things is, is coming down. So then, in turn, we can offer that to our client base and, and reduce the cost. To power the whole of the UK, we'd pretty much need solar panels on every rooftop in the country. And there are examples. This is Wrexham in North Wales. But some experts say, as well as being expensive, solar's just not always that practical. Solar panels obviously generate most on summer days. Um, we use the most electricity in, on winter evenings. Um, so there's a mismatch. And the National Grid has to balance to the second supply and demand. At this farm in Somerset, these cows are milked by robots and the power to run the machinery comes from very close by. Up above them, there are 120 solar panels. They can generate up to 30 kilowatts of energy. And when the sun's shining, that's enough to give this working farm all the power it needs. And while farmer James Reed is very pleased with his panels, he, like many others, doesn't want to see fields of solar and thinks they still need to be built up high. The roof of farm buildings or industrial buildings is the, is the right place for solar panels because they're at the point of use. You don't get the wastage uh, going through the wires and um, you're not taking up valuable farmland. As UN scientists consider what to do about climate change, widespread use of solar energy is one of their recommendations. So while the sun doesn't always shine in the UK, when it does, perhaps our rooftops can give us the green energy boost we need. Harriet Hadfield, Sky News, Somerset.